Well, what's up? I'm Mr. Noble. So today we're going to be comparing the 13-inch M2 iPad Air versus the 11-inch A14 Bionic chip for the older iPad Air uh, 2020, iPad Air 4. So if you're ready, let's jump right into this video. All right, so the store sizes for the older 11-inch right here. Uh, only comes in uh, 64 gigs or 256 gigs versus the 13 inch starting at 128 gigs up to one terabyte. Now we're going to talk about connectivity with the Wi-Fi speed on both and how fast each one of them is compared from the old iPad Air 4 to the new iPad Air 6. So if you're ready, let's go. We're going to pull up the speed test. All right, as you see, we have the iPad Air 4 generation here, and we have the iPad Air 13 M2 6 generation right here. All right, so if you're ready, we're connected to T-Mobile on both. One, two, three, let's go. All right, so... So we see the speed is a little bit faster on the iPad Air 6 with the M2 chip at 101 and the iPad Air 4 comes in at 87.1 and upload looks pretty crappy. We got 2.32 here and 0 0.89 over here. Let's run this test one more time. Let's roll. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Probably see it, see the difference in the speed depending on the processor and also the connection. This one has Wi-Fi 6E and this one just has Wi-Fi 6. So it seems like the uploads seem to be doing a little bit better. All right, so that's it for the speed test. Now... As far as the refresh rate on both of them, they both still have a 60 hertz refresh rate. On this iPad Air with the M2 and the older model on this 11 inch, we really don't see any screen difference. And uh, I feel a little difference between the M2 and the A14 Bionic chip when scrolling. So I have to give it to the 13 inch M2 iPad Air on this one. Uh, this one is still smooth though. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. All right. So now let's talk about the design differences between the new 13 inch and the older 11 inch. Everything is pretty much the same. Uh, buttons is in the same place. Everything is pretty much the same. So the buttons are pretty much in the same position. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Sorry, I don't understand. Cancel. You don't never understand. Uh, that's why I can't wait till the new AI comes out. When does Siri ever understand anything? So like I said, not much of a difference. Now, as far as screen brightness, the 11 inch is turned all the way up. And... You'll notice a tremendous difference and you have a hundred nits brighter from the 500 nits on the older 11 inch and the so much brighter 13 inch with 600 nits. So 600 nits on a 13 inch new iPad with M2 and 500 nits on the older 11 inch or 10.9 inch on the iPad Air 4. So there is a major difference in the colors, the clarity, and pretty much everything. Yeah, I'm gonna just say uh, I have a, a matte screen protector on the 11 inch, but it only dims it like maybe 1%. So 499 nits on the 11 inch and 600 nits on the new 13 inch iPad. So next, we're going to be talking about, would you need a keyboard if you was to play games? 
uh, which you can use the control on e on either one, uh, or if you're a content creator like I am, we're just watching videos. Keyboard is not really necessary. You can use the onboard keyboard on both of them. But if I had to choose using a onboard keyboard versus using a regular Bluetooth keyboard, which would also be nice, um, but I don't really have no need for this. Yes, I bought one. I would say we can set this up so you can see what it looks like. So now if I decide I want to do a keyboard setup like this, yes, the onboard keyboard for me is easily accessible and quick. So I can just get on there and do my thing and get off and go to the next step. Yeah, you could play games with this or you can use a game controller with the iPad. So you have your choices. I mean, or either keyboard or onboard keyboard or a game controller when playing games. Now, you can also use a game controller as a mouse if you wanted to do that. So, like I said, I don't use one. I don't use a keyboard. So, I wouldn't use my iPad as a laptop in that way. I don't really care for it. It could be an option for you, though. I'm used to quick access with the onboard keyboard using touchscreen or either voice typing. Can you look up a racing game? So comparing the screen sizes, why I, when I bought the 13-inch uh, iPad Air, uh, I upgraded from the 11-inch. 13-inch gives me more options to watch videos on a bigger screen compared to the smaller 11-inch screen. And also, me being a content creator, it's easier for me to use the bigger 13-inch screen compared to the 11-inch. And by the 11-inch being a little bit slower and not having that upgraded 8-gigabyte eight, eight RAM uh, with the processing, it goes by a whole lot smoother and quicker on the M2 compared to the A14 Bionic chip and the 11-inch iPad. So that's one reason why I upgraded. And like I said, I also get that 100 nits uh, max brightness on the 13-inch that if I would have got another newer iPad Air 11-inch like this one uh, with, with the upgrade, I would have still been stuck at the 500 nits. So there is an advantage of getting a 13 inch iPad Air, a uh, brand new one with the M2 chip. So that makes a big difference to me. Uh, I love the, the brighter, more clarity screen compared to the other ones got clarity, but it's a little more saturated. So that's the reason why I picked the 13 inch over the 11 inch. All right, now we're going to talk about the camera placement. On the old iPad Air, above where the power button is, on the iPad, older iPad Air, the front-facing camera is right here on the right side. And on the newer iPad Air, the camera faces the front, which is right in the middle of, in landscape mode. So whether I'm looking directly at the camera or I'm looking at the actual screen, it still looks like I'm looking at the actual camera. Now, if I look into the 11 inch, I actually got to kind of turn it sideways like this in order to see my eyes in the screen. It's because the camera is all the way on the right side and I am not centered at all. So game playing from on the 11 inch and game playing on the 13 inch. Here we go. So as you see, the new iPad Air was a lot quicker when opening up subway surface. Now let's check out gameplay. And so you see, 
they're pretty much the same smoothness uh, when playing. So now you're wondering, what iPad should you pick if you want to do an upgrade between the 11-inch iPad older generation iPad Air 4, or would you choose the new iPad Air 6 with the M2 chip, which would be a big upgrade because then you also will get the new Apple Intelligence when that's available. And you won't be able to get that with the older iPad Air 4 11-inch. It will depend on your usability and your budget on what is available for you as far as buying a new iPad. So I had the choice of upgrading to either the 11-inch or the 13-inch. So I went with the 13-inch because I thought it would be a better buy for me. So if you're looking at the older iPad Air 4, which if I was to get an older iPad, recommend you getting the M1 iPad Air 5 if you just wanted to upgrade and get that M1 chip so you would still be able to get the Apple Intelligence when that's available instead of going for the older A14 Bionic chip that's in the older iPad Air 4. Now, I went with the M2 with the new iPad because I also wanted the front-facing camera with in landscape mode. You won't also get that on the older iPad Air 5 from last year. So you're looking at a price point starting on this iPad that I have available right here. So this one starts at $339 on Amazon right now. Starts off with 64 gigs, which is the one I have right here. And if you was to pick up this 13-inch iPad Air with the M2, this one, start, the starting storage would be 128 from the 64. So this actually is a better buy. And depending on what color you pick, which I picked the blue one, this one would, you could get this iPad right now for $754 if you was to order this one today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!